Well, it's a shade before eight. I'm headed back to Great Matter City again. See if it treats me bad like it did yesterday. Mumbles man, he's uh he may be here in a little while. He had to take his grandkids to school today. Damn, some waves here today. It really got rough yesterday afternoon. You could tell it was breezing up, you know, when we were here at the end. I don't like that. That's too rough. But it looks terrible. Look at it. It is supposed to rain, but late this afternoon, they claim. Waves. Maybe a big ship went by. Submarine or something. Stand by. Conditions don't look very good. I don't see any rocks. I got some kind of nine number here. I don't see no nines though. I say crap. I brought my big scoop today. That means that all them little sinkers and all will fall through. Well, we got this out, but it must have fallen through, so I doubt we'll find out what this is. I don't know. It's changed numbers now. It's a six. Nothing I can see. There it is. You see it? Nine and ten. Got to be a small piece of lead. But it sounds good. Stand by a minute. I want to see what it is. I got it. I saved it. Dug a big scoop of sand. I want to see what this number nine is here. It's a little piece of, I don't know what it is. It feels like lead. It might be some kind of fishing weight of some sort. As I spun around, I got a, a three here, see it? A two and a three. What the hell, let's see what that is. like crap to me yeah crap I told you it's crap but as we were coming out we got a hell of a sound right here like a 33 if I can find it again there it is look at that thirty six thirty five it's knocking my ears off. We got it, whatever it is. First scoop of it. Nothing. Now that's really strange right there. There's a big, there's a big chunk of iron sound now in the hole. Maybe it was something like that. No, whatever it is, it's still in there. Stand by a minute. Well, we got it out, whatever it is. I see it now. Ring in the scoop. I'll be damned. Ring in the scoop for the crack of dawn. A little silver ring, loud as it was. It ain't very big either. Look that. Okay. I 
That's a jumpy 13. Jumps all around. 8, 12, 13. Might be a bottle cap. What do you think? It don't have to be, though. Whatever it was fell through. There it is right there. We're gonna have to save that too, just like that last one. Have the big scoop of sand, hope we get it. It don't fall through there. We got it. Twelve. Twelve it is. We know it's not a bottle cap, because that wouldn't have fallen through. There it is. I don't know what it is. Piece of lead, maybe. Piece of crap, what it is. <laughs> we ain't gonna hunt for nothing else. It falls through to hell with it. See, it's got a 10, 11, or 12, but then a minus jumps in there. So it might be a bottle cap. Now it's a solid 11. We got it, whatever it is. Ring in the scoop. Ring in the scoop. Damn. I like the looks of it. I don't know what's inside of it. Let me see if I can see. I can see it clear. And it's not platinum. It's a new age metal. Stainless steel, of all things. Ah! I don't know if you noticed it or not, but everything's been right here in the, in the wash drop off. You see that little drop off right there? And up here, that's where the silver ring came from right here. And that stainless ring came from right here. That's why I've been hunting this way. I was hunting in and out, but now I'm just swinging about two foot out that way and letting the tide carry it up that way. I mean the wave. I'm coming from here to there and drop down off that slope. Stand by. I don't know what this is, but it sounds big. It sounds like a big target. I can hear it. Oh, gray matter, gray matter. Look, three ounces of gray matter. That's a good sign. A 13.
13. You know what 13 is a lot of times, right? Well, that's the first one. Solid 13. Got another 13. And another bottle cap. Twenty nine and thirty two. Twenty five cents, twenty five cents. I got my sensitivity turned back to uh, sixteen. When I was making this little transition up this hill right here, it was Charles, I had it on eighteen. It was making a lot of noise right in there. So I dropped it back to 16. Now it's quiet when it makes that hill. Can you see that? Looks like a pair of scissors. Or something it looks like a pair of scissors. Pair of tongs. <laughs> Look at that. Pick your crabs up with that so they don't bite you. Is this going to be another bottle cap? Ready to find out right now. Oh, it's a ring and a scoop. However, it's not the correct, correct kind of ring. Pull tab ring. But I was excited for a minute. Right here on the brake, on the drop off. 19, you gonna be a penny? I don't think so. Might be iron too. Got that sort of bell tone to it. Garrett, you heard me make mention of it before. Whatever it is, deep, that's what makes me think it's iron now. We're reading 18, 19, 19. It might have it. it. Might be gray matter now. It feels heavy. It is gray matter. That's why I was jumping. See, got a stainless steel, brass, and lead. That's a hell of a combination right there.
Damn, I didn't know this was on, but we got a chattery sound here. If I can find it again. Must have been something light. Maybe it blowed off the beach. I mean, blowed back in the water. There it is. Right there it is right there. See it? Whatever it is, it's moving. That's why I think it's a piece of aluminum or junk like that. I don't see anything. I think we're going to give up on that. We started up here. Some kind of light stuff. Knockout 25. Looks like a green penny. A Lincoln. Or a 10 here. See nothing. I hear a little iron grunt. Maybe it fell through. I don't hear it any place. I have to get back to you on this one. Toe ring. Fell through twice. I don't think you can see him, but the Mumbles man has showed up. Mumbles man! I don't know what this is going to be. Whatever it was. It's falling through. Stand by a minute. Still 17. Still in the hole. We might have it now. Gray matter, fat gray matter. Three ounces. I got a couple more gray matters I haven't showed you. I found a few gray matters. This man has taken a deeper zone coming down here. We're still going to the, well I was going to the east. He's going to the east. We'll see how he's making out out there in the deeper zone. Gray matter is picked up. I can show you two, but it ain't gold. One stainless steel, one silver, and a toe ring. I got, I got a uh, uh, tungsten is real heavy. Oh yeah. A solid 12, 13. No jumping, no chattering, no anything. Just 12, 13. Well, we 
got it. Three scoops. Bottle cap. Them bottle caps will get you, buddy. It's by far the best sound all day. Yeah, it's a fine ticket too. Nice big chunk of aluminum. Ha! I was really excited about that baby. Twenty-five cent. Beautiful sound in fourteen. Is it going to be a bottle cap? It's, that is, if I can find it. I think we got it. I hear it rattling. I don't think it's a bottle cap. Yes, it is too. Piece of crap, Corona. God. Two and a three. Some of that damn aluminum, I mean, some of that battery, piece of battery, we call it, lid. Here. Eighteen to the crab. That's all I see anyway. I don't see no eighteen. Unless it fell through. Eighteen fell through. Yep, That's the way it goes. It jumped from a nine to a twelve. fell through again. I've had a lot of stuff fall through today, I can tell you that. This is going to be another one of them. I'll get back to you. Well, I'm a couple pounds heavier than I was when you last saw me. <laughs> yeah, some great matter. Here. Some gray matter down that way. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's all you want to dig down there, buddy. There's so much noise down there. It's yeah. Wow, it's iron. Gray matter. Jeez.
Did you get anything else? Nope. Yeah. Well, I get to the end of the fall of the day. Tide's it's getting tide's high coming. now, ain't it? Yeah, it's coming in on us. Yeah. Well, I didn't get here till. Oh, jeez. About 20 after 9, I think, and I think not, like 9. What time is it now? Uh, 11.23. 11.26. This chain I found uh, Sunday, 14K Italy. The Mumbles man asked me to check it with the CTX and see if the CTX could hear it. So I got the CTX. I still got the six inch coil on it that I had on the last time I used it. So stand by a minute. We're going to check it and see if it'll work or hear it. I mean, I think it probably will, but he just wants to see it. It reads it okay. I think it does anyway. Twelve oh seven. Oh, well, maybe it doesn't. That could be noise from my yard. My, no my yard is terribly noisy. Stand by a minute. It reads it okay, but it's got to be real close to the coil. I've got it hanging down like this. You can see it. If I swing that next to the coil. Twelve oh five. But any distance away, it won't read it. Let me put it in a little ball like this. Still reads it. Number goes up to 1209. If I turn it, if I spin it vertically, it's 1312. No, it's really 1208, 1207. So it hears it okay. Equinox. I got it balled up like this. I stretch it out like this. It hears it. It. it, it. It does hear it better than the uh, CTX, I will say that. It hits a lot stronger and a better reading. Okay, Mr. Mumbles Man, you got it. I figured while we're checking, we go ahead and check the diamonds in this big silver ring that I found. Uh, what's that? I found it Sunday, I think. Yeah, Sunday. With my diamond checker. Crest CG checkpoint, it's called. I've had this thing 10 years. And I cannot get the green light to come on. None of those fine pieces of ice. They're all pieces of junk. But it's pretty. <laughs> you just never know. They just don't have that luster they're supposed to have. That's why you can usually tell real diamonds. They've got nice sparkles and all to them. Well, these look okay, but they just don't sparkle. They're, they're dull, sort of like looking. Well, here's a nut. I haven't got, I haven't got it all straightened out yet. A lot of gray matter. Now these tickets right here. Let's see if I can find another one. These fall through like rockets. They're just the right size to fall through the holes. So I had to chase these just to see what they were because they sounded good. And I happened to catch them just right so they didn't fall through. But they'll fall through them holes like missiles. I'll get back to you. Well, there's the nut. Fine gray matter today.
the yellow metal is elusive. But at least it was some targets to dig today, not so much like yesterday. No sinkers yesterday. Will we find two, I think, maybe? Today, they were biting good, the sinkers. Okay, I got the mumble span stuff. I'll show it to you in a minute. Well, there's the Mumbles Man's nut. And his Triton Tungsten. Now, them tickets right there cost you about 200 bucks in the jewelry store. I think that's the only place you can buy them. They're really nice. Comfort fit. They're so nice, it's unbelievable. But the only thing they're good for is wind chimes. You put three or four of them together or put some stainless or them... Uh, What's some other pieces of crap we find? Uh, cobalt and titanium. They make beautiful wind chimes. But that's it. They have no value beyond that that we've been able to find. I guess that's life in the lane, though. Economy. New Age metal rings, that we call them. 2007, they started showing up. Now they're everywhere. Good gracious. I'll get back to you. Well, you know that day wouldn't be through, I mean, complete without a few knives. We got a Chicago cutlery. We got three Sch Schmidt brothers. And four says M Molino. The Molino or M Molino or some damn thing. And one Cafalon. So I got some... <laughs> Action, a little bit of action in the morning, I think, after a spin, weather permitting. It's really bleak outside right now. I'll get back to you tomorrow. Good luck to everybody.